it going everybody? You're watching the about Tech and today I'm going to talk about how you should charge your iPhone. And I know it may seem pretty obvious, like grab your iPhone, plug it to the charger and that's it. But trust me, that's not as simple and as easy as that. There are very extremely important tips and best practices on how you should charge your iPhone that will make a huge difference and that will make your battery lifespan be much, much longer and last much, much longer. So please keep in mind that this is an updated video for 2023 in iOS 16. So this video is relevant for all iPhone models. And the first thing I wanna talk about, I wanna start the video saying that absolutely everything all the information, all the data, all of the explanation that I'm bringing in this video comes straight from Apple. Apple has a ton of information related to iPhone battery, lithium ion batteries, and absolutely everything related to charging your iPhone on their Apple support website. It's literally a ton of information, but as you can imagine, it's all written and it's pretty bad to actually read and follow. So I decided to bring all of that information, all of that knowledge and combine with my experience of over 13 years creating content about iPhone and create this video, explain you everything you need to know on how you should charge your iPhone, all of the best tips, and all of the best practices. And the first topic I wanna to cover is actually the act of charging your iPhone. So how often should you charge your iPhone? How many times you should charge it in a day? Is there such a thing? Maybe you should only charge it once a day or can you charge it multiple times a day? Does it make a difference? And on the same topic, the percentage. Is there a correct percentage on which you should put your iPhone to charge or maybe remove it from the charger or it can charge absolutely however you want. So let's start talking about this. When you're talking about how often, you don't need to worry at all. You can put your iPhone to the charger as many times a day as you want. Maybe if you like, you can charge your iPhone once a day while you sleep, for example. Or you can charge your iPhone multiple times a day. Plug it in, plug it off, plug it in, plug it off as you would. So there's no problem with this. You can literally plug your iPhone the best way for you, the way that fits your routine best. So first topic, we're done with that. Now, let's talk about percentage because I'm saying the amount of times you charge your iPhone. You can choose that as you wish, as I mentioned. but when you're talking about percentage, this is a huge, very, very important topic because you should only charge your iPhone between zero and 80%. You shouldn't charge your iPhone past 80%. So from 80 to 100, that's a danger zone. You shouldn't go past 80%. And I know that's very controversial. I know a lot of people are gonna talk about this in the comments and they're gonna say, uh, if the iPhone battery is designed from zero to 100, I can charge it from zero to 100. And yes, you could, but when you charge past 80%, you're harming your battery. And I made videos here on the channel specifically about this topic. I have a full dedicated video just on this topic explaining you why you shouldn't charge your iPhone battery past 80%. It's a more technical video, a more in-depth video. And if you're interested about this topic, I do recommend that you take a look. I'll have a link in the description and on the card above as well. But I'm gonna give you an overview right here. The thing about charging your iPhone past 80% has to do with something called trickle charging. And please keep in mind that this is not for iPhone exclusively. This rule serves for absolutely every lithium ion battery on the planet. So this serves for your AirPods, for your Mac, and for your electric car, for example. So for absolutely every single device that has a lithium ion battery, because when you charge your iPhone from zero to 80%, you're using something called fast charging, which charge your iPhones fast and doesn't harm your battery. But when you're charging it past 80%, from 80 to 100, your battery uses something called trickle charge, which is a technical thing, okay? And as I said, this happens on all lithium ion batteries and it has to do with their physical and chemical properties and they charge much slower when they're charging on trickle charge and it does harm your battery. So that's why it charges much, much faster at 80% and then it takes a long time to go from 80 to 100. So not only it's slow, 
but it's also bad for your battery. And that's why we have optimized battery charging. And I'm gonna talk about optimized battery charging in a second. So stay tuned for the video. I'm gonna talk about that as well. And that's why most electronic devices now have this limit on 80%. Your AirPods, for example, will stop at 80% as well. Most of the new laptops have this feature as well, which you can enable and they only charge until 80%. Same thing with electric cars. So most of the devices right now that have batteries, they already have this limit. This is not exclusive to the iPhone and they'll stop at 80% because charging past 80% is bad. And it gets even worse if you're charging your iPhone and it reaches 100% and you keep it on the charger while it's at 100%, that's even worse. Keeping your iPhone on the charger at 100% is even worse. So the recommendation here on this first big topic is you can charge your iPhone as many times as you'd like, but as long as you charge it between zero and 80%, don't go past 80%. Moving on, we have to talk about battery health, more specifically, maximum capacity, because with maximum capacity, we can actually understand this whole thing. I mean, when I say something is bad for a battery, that harms your battery, when I'm talking about this good or bad, preserving your battery, and everything when we're talking about battery lifespan, we have to understand the concept of maximum capacity. So if you grab your iPhone and you go to settings, and then you actually go ahead and go to battery, and then you're gonna see battery health, and right there, you're gonna see maximum capacity. So when you open up your iPhone out of the box for the first time, your maximum capacity will be 100%. That means that your battery is delivering 100% of what it was designed. So it's a new battery that still has 100% of its original capacity, okay? So it's a new battery. Now, the more you use your iPhone, the lower this number will go. It'll go to 99, 98, 95, 90, and it'll keep going down, down, down. And what this means is, as you're using your iPhone, your battery will lose its capacity compared to the original design capacity. So then, instead of giving you 100% of its design capacity, of its design capabilities, it's gonna give you 90% or 85 or 80%. So it's gonna lose some of its capacity. It's gonna lose some of its power, let's say. And the older your iPhone gets, the less capable your battery will be, and the less charge, the less hours your battery will give you on the same charge, on the same cycle. So that's pretty much how it works. So the lower the number, the older your battery is, the more degraded your battery is, this is the explanation. So every time I'm saying in this video, this is bad for your battery, this harms your battery, this is really bad, you should avoid this. What I'm saying is, if you do those things, if you do those things that are bad for your battery, your maximum capacity will go down faster. Your battery will be older faster. It'll be degraded faster. So every time I say something is bad, it harms, it affects directly your maximum capacity. So when I say that charging your iPhone past 80% is bad, it means that if you keep charging your iPhone past 80%, your maximum capacity on your battery will go down faster compared to if you just charge between zero and 80%. Now let's talk about iPhone battery cycles because it's another very important concept. So the typical normal iPhone battery is supposed to reach 80% of maximum capacity after 500 cycles. So then after going through 500 battery cycles, your battery will go down, 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 down and reach 80%. That's what it was designed to do. So then, when we're talking about maximum capacity and degrading a battery, we have to keep those two concepts in mind. So we have to keep the cycle count concept in mind. So the more cycles you go through, the lower the maximum capacity will be, and the way you use your iPhone, the way you charge it, the way you treat it, the way you use it, will actually affect on how fast your maximum capacity will go down. So those are two very important concepts. And when we're talking about battery cycle, it's super important to understand that one battery cycle is not charging your iPhone from zero to 100. That's not how it works. One battery cycle is counted when you actually discharge your battery by 100%. So if you go ahead, charge your iPhone all the way up to 100%, which I don't recommend, and you go ahead and discharge it, so you use it normally until it reaches zero, 
that's one cycle. But if you get your iPhone and you charge it to 50% and then you discharge from 50 to zero and then you charge it to 50 once again and discharge it to zero, that's also one cycle because 50 and 50, it's 100. But, and this is super important and super interesting to understand, if you actually go through one cycle like that from 50 to zero, from 50 to zero, that's one better cycle than from 100 to zero because you got your iPhone to 100%. And charging your iPhone up to 100% is worse. So even though we're talking about one cycle on both examples, the first example is worse, is a worse cycle compared to 50 to zero, 50 to zero. Got the idea? Yep, that's how iPhone batteries work. And remember when I talked about optimized battery charging a few minutes ago? Yep. Let's talk about that as well, because it's super, super important. That's actually the way we know and we are 100% sure that charging your iPhone battery past 80% is bad. Because if you go to your settings on the exact same page that we were looking a few minutes ago as well, and go to battery, and then we go to battery health, we see optimized battery charging, which is a feature that it's enabled by default. And what this feature does, and keep in mind, this is an iOS built-in native feature, is it'll prevent your iPhone from charging past 80%, just like that. So you're gonna plug in your iPhone to the charger, and when you have this feature enabled, it'll charge to 80%, and then it'll stay there it'll not charge past 80%. So iOS has this built-in feature to prevent your iPhone from charging past 80%, giving us the confirmation that charging past 80% is actually bad. So as I said, I do recommend that I leave this feature on. This feature is also available on AirPods as well and will be available on MacBooks and absolutely all Apple devices. Now let's move on and let's talk about accessories because we're talking about charging routine, how you should charge, percentages, and all of that is explanation, but we have to talk about what you're actually using to charge your iPhone. And I wanna make this super, super simple. You have two options. First you can use any authentic Apple accessory that you wish, absolutely any. So you can use any charger from any Apple device to charge your iPhone. And of course, you can use any lightning cable from Apple to charge your iPhone. So as easy as that, you can use anything. Don't worry if you wanna use the huge power brick from a MacBook Pro, no problem, you can use it. And you can also use the teeny tiny five watt charger as well, no problem, as long as it's an authentic Apple charger. Now, if you don't want to use the authentic Apple charger or if you don't have one or think it's expensive, you have the second option, which is you can use any MFI certified accessory. So any MFI, which stands for made for iPhone, charger, cable, it's up to you. If it has the little certified thing, if it has that little icon MFI, you can trust it, no problem, and you can use to charge your iPhone. But please, don't go ahead and pick any accessory, very cheap accessories from like a gas station or something like that. Those can actually harm your device. So use only Apple authentic accessories or MFI certified accessories. Moving on, let's talk about again, the act of charging itself. And what you have to keep in mind here is that heat is your enemy. Heat is really bad for your iPhone battery. So there are two very important things that you need to keep in mind. When you're charging your iPhone, avoid using it. Because when you're charging and using, your iPhone will get much, much warmer than it should, and this is bad. This can even actually trigger a new feature on the iPhone that will actually stop your charging completely because of overheating. So just try try your best not to use your iPhone while, you're, while charging. And if you feel that it's getting hot when you're using it, definitely, like, leave it. I mean, don't use it, leave it, and even if you can, unplug it as well, because heat is very, very bad. And the same goes for charging while using a case, because this happens as well. Depending on the case and the material of the case, sometimes just by charging your iPhone and even leaving it there, not, not using it, not touching it, but because of the case, sometimes your iPhone gets really, really hot. So if it's happening to you, remove the case every single time you're charging your iPhone or maybe get a different case. So again, heat is your enemy, it's very bad, so pay attention to heat while charging. And last but not least, we have this final tip, which is very, very interesting as well, which is try and calibrate your iPhone battery at least once a month. The recommendation is that once a month, 
you should actually use your iPhone all the way to zero. So completely kill its battery. Okay, so use to zero until it literally dies and then plug it in and go to 100%. But once a month, okay, not every single time, once a month, kill your iPhone battery, plug it in and charge it to 100%. So you're gonna give a full normal linear cycle and then this, this method is also called calibration. So it's interesting to do it once a month. You don't need to do it every single time, just once a, once a month. This is good for the ions inside the batteries, a whole technical thing as well, but I do recommend you to do it once a month, okay? So that's literally it. Those are my tips on how you should charge your iPhone. Do this and I guarantee your iPhone battery will last so, so, so much longer, all right? So that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video as usual. Bye-bye, guys.